welcome to Crochet and Beyond and today I'm going to teach you how to make a basic winter hat. The sizing for this hat today is for an average woman's head and the yarn I used is Red Heart Super Saver so it's worsted weight size 4. As for hooks I'm using two. I will use the thicker one for the trim, the starting of the hat. And in my case, that is a 5.25 millimeter, which is also uh, known as a 5.5 millimeter. So they are the same. They're both an eye um, hook. Then when I'm done with the trim, I will use a slightly thinner hook and that would be a five millimeter hook, which is an H hook. The reason I use two different sizes of hooks is that the part that I start the hat with, which is the trim, needs to be a bit loose not so tight so that's where I use the bigger hook and then when I finish up the top of the hat I will use the uh, thinner hook so that it gets a little bit more close-knit. The stitches used to make this hat is a foundation chain and then single crochet throughout and the whole thing is done in a round. There is no going back and forth between rows. It's all around and around and around. So you don't get lost counting rounds. It's very important that you have some stitch markers. I like to use safety pins. That's it. So I have about six here and it sounds silly, but have one of these markers of a slight different color than the others. So I have a bunch here that are golden and one that is the silver one. Because <laughs> this one here is always going to mark the beginning of every round. We start with the foundation chain here. So it's a long foundation chain. And then upon that foundation chain, you start building your trim. And your trim is about this size. And then I switch colors or not, it's optional. And then I finish the top of the hat and about here towards the end is where I start decreasing. That will be four decreasing points. Now one thing that makes the trim of this hat look really neat is that it looks like there is lines here. See? So it's different from just this single crochet here. So how did I make that happen? It's still single crochet. All right. If I bring it on the inside out, it looks like it's all normal single crochet. So how come this made lines? Well, it's very simple. Your single crochet, when you're doing the trim, has to be done, the hook has to be inserted in the front loop only. So follow the directions there carefully because that will, be, that will leave the back loop kind of always um, free here, making these cute looking lines, all right? I think that makes it look really neat for a trim. All right, my friends, so here we go. That's, that's the one. I have to do this last because I'm not taking it off again because it'll mess up my hair. <laughs> All right, see? So that's the trim, nice and long. <laughs> and then we fold it over. And I like this trim here so much because it will really keep my ears warm. Important. So let's stop chit-chatting and let's get to work. With a 5.25 millimeter crochet hook and your yarn, also with your safety pins nearby, let's chain 64 for your foundation chain. The way I like to do my initial knot is like this with a loop here held by my middle finger and thumb. Then I pull through three times without letting go of the bottom. So that was one, two, three. Then I hold at the top here, pull the string really tight and that leaves one foundation chain already. From here, build the other chains, which will be 63 more. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Before you move on, I like to let you do your foundation chain on your own, but take a look at your chain here to see if it's very stretchy. You don't want a very tight foundation chain. And all chains need to look very even. You can't have one that's super loose and one that's super tight and kind of irregular. Make sure it is very, very even and stretchy. From now, go ahead and work on your 64 chains and then we meet again. Perfect, here is the 64 chains. All right, now we are going to join where we stopped to where we started. And that can be a little tricky because the way this chain acts, it kind of twists itself. So we want to try that not to happen. So best is that you kind of straighten it out a little bit like this. And look at your chain already. It has a right side, which looks like a braid, right? 
Then it also has a wrong side, which is kind of bumpy. Okay, so what you need to do is you need to join both ends, which is the right side facing you, and this beginning here with its right side facing you. This will be joined. But careful here if this is not super twisted. So best is to kind of hold on to the top here, turn it around a little so that the wrong side is looking at you, and let that wrong side keep looking at you. Just keep looking at you, then let go. And do that. And find the beginning. Now this here will be joined, so prepare your tension. Get your hook in the loop. Find that very first foundation chain. Insert the hook. Pull through and then pull through again with a slip stitch. That's it. Now look at the other chain. Pull through the top of the chain here and do your first single crochet. There we go. That is your single crochet. This one right there. Yeah, the single crochet here formed a chain. That chain right there is the one that you mark. Put your safety pin right there. The safety indicates that, hey, this is the beginning of the new round. From here, continue single crocheting in every single foundation chain. When you look at your foundation chain here, you should be seeing the right side up, and you will see a top loop and a bottom loop. Make sure that you insert only at the top loop. You could be tempted to insert at the bottom here. Just don't do that because that will make your chain very, very tight. You don't want that. Single crochet in each chain. There we go. Now this was five stitches, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. I will do 10 and then do another safety pin and I'll explain to you why. So this is seven. Eight, nine, ten. Another safety pin. Doesn't have to be exactly ten, could be twelve, eleven, doesn't really matter. The reason is these safety pins here will guide you to where the top of your single crochet is. Because when we come around here, back here, this thing again will do some twisting and it can be a bit fussy to undo that. So these uh, safety pins here, they will help you out. So make sure that every 10 or so um, single crochets that you are doing on your very first round here, you do put the safety pin on. So let me go another 10 here with you. So you will have, I believe, a total of six safety pins all over the place. There is two. So I hope you got the hang of this here. And as I said earlier, this goes a little slower. That top loop there is always a bit resistant. That's why if your foundation chain is very tight, this is going to be difficult. So if you're not easily, fairly easily uh, pulling through your foundation chain, that means your foundation chain is way, way too tight. You might want to consider to open up and try again until it feels like consistent, even. Okay, okay, let's see how many was that. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, just right. So, another safety pin. So, do this all around. When we get to the almost end of this round here, which will go here, 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 and then we'll end up like here again. So, about six or seven stitches before we get here, I'll meet with you again. Okay, so you continue working on this here. Every 10 single crochets, put a safety pin on it. So here it is. We are almost at the end of the first round, ready to start the second round. Now put your circle here flat on the table. All right. Now make sure that all safety pins are up. So see this guy here, he wants to be down already. And sometimes your work already did that. So it created a twist there. Undo that. That's where the safety pins come in handy. So start from here, safety pin up, 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 up. 
Now that one was at the bottom. See, it wanted to go that way. Don't let it do that. Bring it up so that the single crochets are all up. There we go. And make sure that we are all behaving here. <laughs> and then proceed. So let me get to the end of this round. Keep working here. Let's do this together. After the first round, you will go smooth sail. It's not gonna be any problematic anymore. It just, just this beginning, we gotta watch out for the twistiness of making a loop like this, right? Okay, I got two more. So this was my very first single crochet. This is where we joined. So the place we joined is going to be my last stitch on this first round. So there is the second to last, and there is the last stitch. All right, here we go. We done it. Now lay it up here like that again with the safety pins looking up, okay? Now we need to count and be absolutely sure now that we have 64 single crochets. This was your first one. Let me maybe zoom this in. This was the first one. This is the last one. So we need to count to be absolutely sure. How do you count? When you look to your single crochets here, the top forms a chain again. You see it? So every chain will be a stitch, will be a single crochet that you've done. So here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then go from here on your own. I'll trust that you know how to count, okay? When I'm close to the end of the round, I will resume the counting here with you, okay? Okay, so this is 60 here for me. 61, 62, 63, 64. Hooray, got the right number. You chained 64, remember? So you must right now have 64 single crochets. If you ended up here with 63, 65, count again. Maybe you miscounted one and you're still off. Something went wrong on your foundation chain or something went wrong as you did your single crochets upon the foundation chain. Something went wrong and you need to fix it. Sorry, you'll have to open it up and do it again if you don't have 64. We are ready to proceed now into round two. I already removed all the other safety pins except for the one that indicates the beginning of your next round. That one stays, all the others go. For the trim of the head here, you're going to do single crochets as usual. However, you will insert your single crochets in the front loop only. So let me briefly explain what that is. If you already know, great, but some people might not. So let me just quickly show you how that goes and then go from there. I will momentarily just take this one away. And crocheting in the front loop means just that loop right there. That's your front loop. This one here is your back loop. Okay, I want the front loop. But does it matter, front or back? Yes, it needs to be the front loop right now. There is the single crochet. That was your first stitch. Put the safety, safety pin back in. It needs to be in the front loop because later on, we will turn that side backwards and then it will show. Remember how I showed you earlier in the intro? Yeah, so that's why don't do the back loop or it will look, or it will actually turn inwards and we don't want that. So that's what's going on here. As you single crochet in the front loop, the back loop kind of pops up, see? That's what you want. So you have a nice looking trim for this hat. Okay, now you go smooth sail from here. Uh, this will go fast and you should be able to crochet smoothly, but it's always a bit of a fuss to just wanna catch only one of those loops. So work through it. Pay attention carefully that you don't end up doing both, yeah. Later on when we are done with the hat, 
when we're done with the trim, we will go back at crocheting with only uh, with both loops with like the normal crochet way. But for now, we want that nice stripey looking trim. So you got to do the front loop. OK, all right. I'm going to let you do this here until we have a certain measurement. When I when I am at the end here of round two, getting into round three, I'll meet with you one more time and I'll let you know how long I want this to be. So go ahead and work until there. So crochet around and around and around until you have six inches, okay? Six inches or 15 centimeters. So that will be about here. So you have a long ways to go. How many rounds will that be? It depends. Depends how tightly or how loosely you crochet. That's why for the trim, it's best to do a larger hook, okay? So it will be a bit a bit loosier so it fits around the head nicely so don't go by how many rounds it is just go by how much exactly the measurement is supposed to be when i get my six inches i will come back to you here and show you exactly how that goes okay see you soon have fun i finished the six inches here that will make the trim of the hat so where i measure is just before here of my last stitch in this row here i measure from the very top there to the very bottom and if it goes a tiny little bit over six it's not a big deal you don't need to stretch it just lay it flat on your table all right so now you can see what is going to happen here soon right the hat will continue growing and when we're done you're going to fold this over and it will make that trim and you will fold it over until this point that will probably be about three inches right Makes sense. now we are going to be working a little bit more length here so we're not decreasing quite yet but we are changing hooks and we are going to start single crocheting on both loops so from my 5.25 now I change to a five also here I'm going to be changing colors if you don't want to change colors if you want this hat completely yellow or whatever color you picked then continue doing your work after I'm changing colors if you want to change colors then watch how I do it <laughs> so here is my other color I picked something really happy and colorful I think it's gonna match really well this very bold yellow here to change the color this is what I do I first take this marker out a little bit and I will do one single crochet just one single crochet with yellow still and I'll do a regular single crochet in both loops. That's it. And then put that marker back. From now on, I am going to change color and I am going to continue single crocheting in both loops. Makes sense? For you to change colors, this is what I do. I start the single crochet here with the color I'm at, but I don't finish it. I pick up the other color leave a bunch here and pull through then I tighten both strings and later on when I'm done I'm going to tie a knot there anyway and uh, tuck it in now from here on every single stitch I single crochet so from now on single crochet on both loops because we are no longer working on the border so easy peasy here no brainer so what you're gonna do now you're gonna go around and around and around for a couple more rounds until you have a total of 10 inches so here is your six right you got six you want 10 so your hat has to grow another four inches here without decreasing Nothing's changing. We just changed hooks and we are doing regular single crochet. And if you wanted to, you changed colors. So do that until you have 10 inches. If you're doing it in centimeters, it is 25 centimeters. That's how long you want this to be. 25 centimeters or you want it 10 inches. Sounds good? Okay, see you when you're done. I achieved the length I wanted 
for this colorful part as i mentioned earlier you're looking into 25 centimeters or 10 inches there we go so you don't have to overstretch it just lay it flat and it is what it is don't have to overthink this now the next step here is to work on decreases here on the top of the hat so it shapes the head also it is super important that you have safety pins here here's the other three that i will need because in every decrease point we are going to put a safety pin on because otherwise you will get a bit lost on where the spot to decrease is on every round okay i like to have the first one here like silver and then the others will be golden so that i always know which one is the beginning of the round how many single crochets in between each decreasing spot will depend on the first round here we start with 11 and then we go um, down from there until i have the amount of uh, chains of stitches let's say uh, left with a small hole at the top here that we then pull together with a string and close up the head Alrighty, so let's do that i'm also going to zoom in so that you see well all right because this colorful yarn can be a bit tricky to see sometimes so i want to make sure that it's uh, visible all right let's get going First thing, look at your safety pin and move it back one stitch. Put it right here. Just leave it there for now. First thing you do, decrease two stitches. Pretty much you're doing two single crochets in one. That's what a decrease actually is. So look at your first stitch here. Insert, bring the yarn in. Insert in the next one, bring the yarn in. Now you have three loops on your hook pull through that is a decrease now go ahead and do 11 single crochets that was one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven decrease again same thing here here that was one decrease a single crochet now insert the safety pin or a marker in that single crochet stitch decrease again now single crochet 11 for one two three four five six seven eight <clears throat> nine ten eleven decrease there is your first decrease single crochet insert the safety pin decrease again 11 single crochets one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven decrease there is one decrease single crochet bring this here and another decrease good up until now see you have already four points okay now there will be one more decrease happening closer to this one here because remember these all had two decreases and this point here just has one so far we gotta finish with one here so it's gonna come out just right so you'll see 11 single crochets that was one two three four five six seven eight nine nine yeah ten 
11. Okay, come on. And then a decrease. Here we go. Decrease and decrease. Good. So here we have a decrease, a single crochet, and a decrease. Of course, they are a little offset because we are starting a new round here. So this looks a little different. But that's why I ask you to move over that safety pin because now that safety pin is always right there in the middle of the two decreases. Now we start the second round where we also decrease. Let's go. Remove the safety pin first, actually. Do a single crochet and replace the safety pin. Right there. Decrease. Now single crochet nine stitches, just nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that leaves you two stitches here before the safety pin. So these two stitches are your decreasing point. So it should happen like this every single time. You should land two stitches before the safety pin. So let's decrease right here. Remove the safety pin. Single crochet in that stitch. Replace the safety pin. And then another decrease on the next two stitches. Good. Nine single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. Two stitches before the safety pin. That's your decreasing stitches. Let's remove single crochet. So this is kind of repetitive on all these points. Especially that, um, with the exception of the point, right, the decreasing point that is the beginning of the round. That one is split, so that one is a little different. And decrease. Go again for nine. I'm going to do this whole thing here for you so that we don't get lost. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. See, perfect. Here we go. Decrease. Single crochet here. Single crochet here. Replace that safety pin. Yeah, it's a little bit of messing around with these thingies. Decrease, but hey, those safety pins keep your eyes focused. Um, when you have a lot of crochet in practice, you can actually eyeball this really easy. So I totally could do this without the safety pins, but don't, don't go there if this is new. It can be confusing unless you made like 30 hats. I'm sure then you will like do this with eyes closed. <laughs> but for now, you know, safety pins is your big helper here. Let's go for another nine. Uh, one, two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven, <clears throat> eight, and nine. Here we go. Decrease those two. There we go. We completed round two of decrease. Let's move on with the third decreasing round. Same process. You just notice that the stitches in between the decreasing points get less and less. So we had 11, then we had nine. So guess what's coming now? <laughs> Very straightforward. We are going to do seven. Put that one back and then decrease. Okay. Seven single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and as always, it will land up two stitches before the safety pin. 
big crease. Single crochet. Replace the single crochet. Ah, <laughs> replace the pin. Decrease. Seven single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Decrease. Single crochet. Replace. Decrease. All right. Let's go for seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Decrease. Single crochet, replace, decrease. Okay, seven single crochets, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Decrease, and that was the end of the third decreasing round. Decreasing round number four. One single crochet, replace on that stitch. Decrease. Five single crochets. One, two, three, four, five. Decrease. Remove. Replace. Come on. Decrease. Five single crochets. One, two, three, four, five. Here we go. Decrease. Single crochet and put it back. Decrease. Five single crochets. One, two, three, four, five. Decrease. Single crochet. Replace. Decrease. All right, coming along. Five single crochets. One, two, three, four, five. And another decrease. All right, decreasing round number four is completed. Fifth decreasing round is starting. So let's remove that guy for a little bit. Fifth decreasing round, so there is one single crochet and replace the pin. Decrease. Perfect. Three single crochets until the next decrease. Two, three, see? And decrease. Single crochet, put it back, decrease, okay. 
three single crochets. Two, three. Decrease. Single crochet and replace. Decrease. Three single crochets. Decrease. Okay, coming along. Single crochet and replace. Decrease. Three single crochets. Mm. Two. Three and decrease. Okay, one more round complete. That was the fifth decreasing round. Sixth decreasing round starts now. Always when I am at the silver safety pin. Yeah. There is one single crochet. Replace. And decrease. One single crochet. That's it. And then you're decreasing again. So now pretty much you are decreasing single crochet, decreasing single crochet in every single stitch like that. Okay. Decrease. All right. One single crochet, decrease. Decrease. One single crochet. Decrease. One single crochet. Decrease. There we go. Ta -da. This was round six of the decreasing rounds. We got one more round to go. For the last decreasing round, what you will do is you leave only the silver, the first safety pin here or whatever color you got, only the first one and remove all the others. You don't need them anymore. On this round, you are going to single crochet together pretty much everything. Pretty much everything. You're going to be putting the safety pin back right away. You will do a decrease here right away. So just do it. Everything is a decrease now. There is a decrease. Now put that safety pin back there so we know where the round starts. Then decrease again. And go like that every single stitch decreasing. There's no more lonely single crochets here. It's all decrease. Good. Just a few more. And the last two. That's that. Remove the safety pin. And a slip stitch. That's it. Then cut the string. Pull through. I left a generous amount. Don't have to actually even be that much. Pull through. And you are finished. Now what we need to do, we need to close this hole here, which is super easily done. You do that with a needle. And we're going to weave in the ends and then your hat is done. For you to weave in this top end here, you need to do it from the wrong side. So best is you pull the wrong side towards you. And find the string 
and let's work. It's super simple here. So grab that needle with a dual point. Um, put the yarn through there. And what you do is you pretty much, there isn't really much right or wrong here. Kind of like grab each one of those last single crochets you did, the decreases, and just kind of like pull through it. Loop by loop, like that. You don't need to tighten it up too much. There we go. And then there is one more here. Maybe two. All right, and then pull the string tight. Pull. See? So then it kind of closes it. If you want to put your hand in there and make sure it looks even, pull tight. And then here, I kind of go wherever, you know, I kind of find a spot to put my yarn in once like that. And then again. And then, okay, leave a little loop here and pull through there. And then cut. I like to always leave a little tail there. I don't care. I don't even weave it in because it's in the inside. Nobody's ever going to see that, right? Okay, there we go. Now we weave in the ends here and also where we changed color. If you didn't change color, you don't need to worry about this. For the changed color part here, I like to tie a knot like that. And then again, and still one more time. All right, then I will, oh this, yeah, oh I cut this, okay. So this one here, then I weave in, kind of like around the area. Just about there. Yeah, make sure you're doing it in the wrong side. <laughs> Here, just a couple times, doesn't have to be too many. Like that. And I'll cut it about here. Same thing with the other side, the other string. <clears throat> Tuck it in between the single crochets. Until your yarn here is fairly short. There we go. That's all you need to do. Cut. All right. Then this one here, you want to be a little bit more careful because this one here can, um, it can let it can start showing soon. So you want to do this. So undo it. So make sure that it's uh, that the fold is not happening for now. So go ahead and put this inside your needle. And then weave in up so that this tail ends up uh, in the middle here and not in the edge. So weave in. But make sure that you don't weave in too deep. Otherwise, it will show on the other side and that's weird. So you need to kind of just find the loops here that are just visible on this side of the hat. And it's pretty much wherever. Just do it lightly. Don't have to tighten it up too much because if you make it too tight, that will be ugly. Don't do that. So let it be loose. About like that. And then I will find a place that I go back and I will make a knot. And then I go back down again for just a few. There we go. So that there is a cut right here. And sometimes they like to start escaping, see? That's why you don't want to have this here because you don't want that string escaping on the edge because if it escapes here in the middle of the trim, um, it's not a problem. Nobody's going to see it anyway. 
All right, see how cute. There we go, hat completed. Wonderful. This is a very happy hat. <laughs> like the crazy colors. All right, I hope you were successful trying to do this. See how nice it looks? Like how the decrease looks nice and even. So tell me if you made this, how it worked for you. Go on my Facebook group. If you like to be on Facebook, just join my Facebook group. The link is in the descriptions of uh, this video and ask to join and you can show me your hat. Okay. Thank you so much and enjoy your winter. All right. Until next project. Bye.